Hello everyone, so this is one more video in English for this channel and uh, I'm taking a follow-up for the teardown of this VNA which is the AR Inst VNA DL it's 8.8 .8 gigahertz, right, from the Crux manufacturer it is a Russian uh, manufacturer so let's see what's inside because this plastic box here is very very light look at this so I could take a VNA with two fingers right what a time to be alive so uh, this VNA is uh, two ports one path right you can only measure two S parameters at the same time um, it's not bidirectional so it only has one generator at port one right so let's get to the teardown um, only Philips head screw. Let's do this. So I believe there's just um, this cover in the back here. Uh, there's not much to it. It's a very, very simple device, but very powerful, right? Of course, if you don't have a good calibration kit, uh, this VNA won't perform well as any other VNA won't as well so it's a good thing to invest on a good calibration kit even if you buy a cheap vna like this one this is not as cheap as a nano vna but for the dynamic range that this guy offers right higher than 80 db uh lower than 4 gigahertz for frequencies lower than 4 gigahertz so that's a pretty good deal all right so all the screws are out Let's see how you take this cover. Oh, it's pretty easy to take it off. So here's the main board. Let me check. So AR inst with the ports, like in the up direction, just for me to remember. Um, all right, so there is this small cover here. Let me check. Yep, it goes out. Just like that. Yep, it slides off. And now for the main board. Okay, so there's a little problem here because you see uh, right here these SMA. Actually, these are not SMAs, right? Um, these connectors they are just fit to the plastic cover maybe this goes all out together yep yep there we go yep it goes all out so look at this what do we have here right looks a pretty nice board for a vna of course i'm not gonna desolder these shields right here because probably we're gonna find a directional coupler here so probably uh, there will be the generator and level uh, the automatic level controller here maybe so you know this board is pretty pretty simple so let's check um, this guy here what it is and uh, let's zoom in into this board and check it out all right guys so let's check on the microscope right so I've got this trinocular scope here um, I'm just gonna put it on here and I'll let the camera uh, pointing at that monitor okay so let us zoom in on this which looks like the STM32 chip so let's check so I already see arm here right so let's focus on in there like this let me get a good position for that yep okay little zoom out yep there you go that's the brain of this vna oh my hands are not standing still you see that's an stm32 you clearly see that that's the brain of the board 
So let's check what is right below that. So we have that STM, right? We have a crystal, 26 megahertz. You can check 26 megahertz crystal with all the passives around. Well, there's this jumper here. So maybe he left this here or something. We don't know. Nothing very obvious. So let's check below this. What is this guy here? Let's take a look. All right, it's upside down, I believe. There you go. Um, it was right, I believe. Yep, it wasn't upside down. Now it is. Right on top of this. Okay. So what is this guy? Let me focus. What is this guy? Maybe it's the angle that I'm holding this. Yep. Hmm. Cannot tell. N A U eighty three. So I'll look up on the internet and uh, see if I can put it on the video for you to see what is this guy. So it is right below. So if we zoom out like this, it's right below the microcontroller, right the processor. So it's right below that and you know those traces they go right under the shield on the left side and they go to the shield on the left on the right side too oh we see something here oh no no that is just the solder of the of this cover maybe no no just the leds okay yeah the leds <laughs> that's just the three leds on the front yep Everything is hidden. We cannot see the beauty of this VNA on the teardown. The only way to do that is to desolder these shields. Um, this is the power supply though. Can we check the power supply? Let me see. Hmm. What are those guys? Mm, let's check. Let's say diode, maybe. Yep, looks like a diode. Inductors, capacitors, diodes. Oh, looks like a, sw a regular switching supply. Here is the brain, maybe. MT3608. What is this guy here? Eight five two eight zero X. I'll check on the internet too and put another video for you guys. Okay, so that's basically a very simple supply, right? This guy is the same. Is this guy the same? Eight five two. Yep, that's the same. Eight five eight fifty two. Or 62, right? 80X. Or it's a B. Maybe it's a B, the first one. B6280X. Okay, I'll check those options. So this is the, the border of the board. And there is your USB. So look at this trace, right? A very large trace because of the high current coming into this so we have five volts here right let me get something to point at so there's the five volts there's your 3.3 volts probably is gonna come and come up here to the microcontroller oh there's something to check the clock and io and that's pretty much it 
not much to see. I believe there are many traces and many uh, integrated circuits hidden on the shields, inside the shields. So in the back, there is basically a bunch of vias. Not much to see here. And uh, yep, very simple design. Yep, I cannot tell. But there you go. Let me get um, the camera on the board for us to see if it's in the, in the macro view, not in the microscope. So, yep, um, I'm not willing to desolder the shields. So, uh, maybe, maybe one day when I get a better VNA, <laughs> I just don't want to ruin this one. It's the only one I have. Maybe they would send the, to me um, uh, one, one sample with the shields off for me to show you. So this is a great VNA, right? This is a great VNA for 8.8 .8 gigahertz of bandwidth and you know 80 dB dynamic range. I believe it gets to 60 dB or 70 dB at 8 gigahertz. So that's a pretty good pretty good deal, right? Um, okay, so let's wrap up the video. So yeah, there you have it. Those that were curious about the teardown of this guy, there you have it. So I'll just assemble it and keep using it as my main VNA of my lab. I use the Nano VNA V2, um, 3 gigahertz uh, bandwidth uh, in the field sometimes, because you know it's got a battery, so this guy doesn't have a battery. You, you need a PC uh, to run this. Uh, I currently do on my desktop, but uh, you could use just a laptop and, and, and you know run this with everything. But you know Nano VNA V2 is very handy, because it's got a display on its own and a battery right but i still use this one as the main vna of leader lab so hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you liked it and hopefully um one day i'll get a free sample with the shields off to show you guys how it is from the inside out okay thank you very much see you in the next video